This tutorial is going to demonstrate how you're going to submit your final project. So to begin with, depending upon how you um, entered your material in for your final project, if it was a Word document, um, in most cases, since that's the template that I provided for both the business proposal as well as the lesson plan segment. Um, if you created it on your laptop, then you're going to need to email it to yourself as an attachment um, and then send it to one of um, the Office products. So in this case, if we send it to the um, Quick Office Pro, which is the, the product that I use for all my um, Word and PowerPoint and Excel documents, um, you can input the information, and I'm just going to type in my name and choose Save As. I save it as um, my name, and now it's loaded in my Quick Office Pro. To get it into the WordPress page, I'm going to need to first to select everything within the document. So when I hold my finger down and tap the screen, you see it gives me an option to select all. Immediately then it allows me to copy. So I minimize out of the um, Quick Office Pro area and I go into Safari where I'm at um, my blog site. Now for you, obviously it's going to be your WordPress blog. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the dashboard just as you would go into your dashboard. And within the dashboard, you're going to actually click on the pages area and click add new page. And for here, the title, you're going to want to put in your last name and then just final project. Okay, the standard view here is this um, visual tab and you can see the, the same general format that you've seen throughout the semester. This time, I'd like you to click on the text tab And when you hold your finger down and leave it there, you'll see that the paste feature pops up and I click on paste and you can see that it pasted the final project information into the document. Now, as you can see here, some of the formatting is a little off. So you might want to go back, click on the visual to see what it looks like and make some, some changes. And then once you've gone through it and everything looks the way that you want it to, you're going to go ahead and choose publish. And then we can click on just to view the page to see what it looks like. And here's the document that you will have created. Okay. Now let's go back in and edit. So we're now back to our, um, our page. Now, if everything's fine, you can leave it as is. Okay. The next area that we need to go into is appearance. And I think some of you may have um, missed creating these menus um, throughout the term. But on the right hand panel, you can see here that I've got, and I just moved it, <laughs> um, all these menus, which you've been able to access throughout the semester. Okay. On your blog site, what you need to do to create these menus is to actually create a blank page. So we're going to go back to all to our pages. Okay. And we're going to click add new page. And I'm going to type in final materials. I'm going to take off allow comments and track backs and I'm going to choose publish. Now when I go into appearance in menus, I'm actually going to now choose final materials and then my Hodge final project and click add to menu. 
Now when it does that, you'll see that it appears at the very bottom. Okay. Now, depending upon where it's placed, if it's all the way aligned to the left, it's going to show at the top in my blog as a menu. But if I continue to move it up, when you add a new page that has nothing embedded within it and you have it indented and flush all the way to the left alignment and then you add your final project page and you add it beneath it, you'll see that when I save the menu, you'll see on the top screen here how under final materials, it shows my final blog.